everyone! Welcome to our subject, Empowerment Technologies. Again, I'm your teacher, Shalami Pareha. For this week, we're going to talk about ICT Project for Social Change. For Social Change. Again, ICT Project for Social Change. Let's talk about WordPress. WordPress is a web publishing software you can use to create a beautiful website or blog. It may be the easiest and most flexible blogging and website content management systems or CMS for beginners. The WordPress software is free in both sense of the word. You can download a copy of WordPress for free and once you have it, it's yours to use or amend as you wish. The software is published under the General Public License, which means it's free not only to download, but to edit, customize, and use. WordPress is a flexible CMS that allows multiple users to create and run a website without coding. While much easier to customize than an HTML site, a WordPress site will be more difficult to maintain. With an HTML website, you won't have to worry about plugin compatibility or site maintenance. WordPress is easy to learn, so as long as you have a helpful guide to show you what it is all about, yes, WordPress is easy to learn. WordPress is easy to use as a word processor, so learning how to use it well is simply as a matter of getting a handle on how to use it in a point-click interface. Now we all know what WordPress is and the advantages of using WordPress. Now let's talk about the disadvantages of WordPress. Of course, if there are advantages, there are also disadvantages. So the first one is you need a lot of plugins for additional features. Also, you need a frequent theme and plugin updates. It has a slow page speed. It has a poor CEO ranking, website vulnerability, and Website can go down without any notice. Now, let's talk about how to monitor site statistics on Facebook. So, monitoring site statistics on Facebook. To do so, we have here the following. First, overview. It contains the summary of statistics about the page. Next, likes. It contains statistics about trends of page likes. Next, reach. It contains information about the number of people who was reached by your post. Visits. It contains data of the number of times your page tabs, like the timeline, are visited. Next, post. It contains data showing when, the day and time, your site visitor visit your site. And lastly, people. It contains statistics about your audience demographics, which includes age, location, gender, language, and country. It, is also in, it also includes demographics about the people we have read, reached and engaged with. So we have here Facebook Analytics. To access Facebook page insights, go to your Facebook page and click insights to the top menu. If you do not see insights in the menu, click more to bring it up. So this is the Facebook Analytics. So the overview gives you a bird's eye view of everything that's happening with your Facebook page. You can choose to view data from the last 7 or 28 days for the current day or for the previous day. The overview is broken down into three sections starting with page summary. Of course, the page summary um, have a set of graphs with top-level metrics for a number of categories. So they are, these are the following categories. Actions on page. This is the combined total clicks from your contact information and call to action button. Page view. Total view of your Facebook page including the people not logged into your Facebook. Page previews. The number of times people hover their mouse over your page information to see a preview of your page. Page likes. The number of new likes. Post reach. 
the number of people who saw your post in their timeline. Story reach, the number of people who saw, you who saw your stories. Recommendations, the number of people who recommended your page. Post engagement, a combined total of post likes, comments, and shares, and other engagement. Responsiveness, an evaluation of how on how often and how fast you respond to messages. Videos, the number of videos, views of 3 seconds or more. Page follower, the number of new followers. Orders, your orders and earning. So these are this is the sample of Facebook dashboard for uh, page summary of page, Facebook page. So let's move on to answering our learning activity worksheets for this week. So for activity one, it is a multiple choice multiple choice type of test activity. So read each item carefully and choose the best answer. You can write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. The next activity is activity two, which is a word pa word puzzle with ten points also. You need to find and encircle the vocabulary in the grid in all direct directions. So again, um, as a note, you do not need to answer activity 3 for this week. So you just need to accomplish activity 1 and activity 2. So if you have any more questions, clarifications, or suggestions on how we can improve our lesson, do not hesitate to send me an email. Um, SMS or call me. Here is also my Facebook account, my MS Teams account. Always remember to stay safe and happy learning to everyone. Thank you.